Today's topic is completing the square to solve the quadratic equation. It is one of the best method and it it's having so many uses. And this method is very simple to use. For example, if I have x plus 3 square. So that is equal to x square plus 2 multiply 3 multiply x that is 6x plus 3 square is 9. It's pretty simple. And if I tell you to factorize x square plus 6x plus 9 then we can easily write this x plus 3 square or it is x plus 3 by using factor method or x plus 3. Now imagine the question is not this. Question is bit different. Suppose our question is solve or find the value of x square plus 6x plus 10. Now there is a problem here. So what if we know this one we can write this as x square plus 6x plus 9 plus 1. So this is x square plus 6x plus 9. So that is equal to x plus 3 square plus 1. And if it is an equation, it is equal to 0. So x plus 3 square is equal to minus 1 and it can be solved that way. But how do we know? Suppose our equation is, is not this. Our equation is say x square plus no I'm not taking the same let's say this is 8x x square plus 8x plus 4 is equal to 0. Now we have to solve this using completing the square method. So I don't know what to add here or what to subtract here. Here we were knowing it is 9. So how do I know what I subtract here? So the, there are certain rules. Number one, using completing the square coefficient of a coefficient of x that is a must be 1. In this question it is 1 so there is no problem. Second is divide coefficient of sorry that is x square coefficient of x square is a coefficient of x by 2. Here the coefficient of x is 8, so we have to divide 8 by 2. So that is 8 divide 2, so that is 4. And third thing is square. this number and add on both sides of equation. These are the three very simple rules you have to follow. So let's let's solve this one. So we have x square 
plus 8x is equal to minus 4. I've changed the sign. Now we divide the coefficient of x by 2. So this is 4. Square this number and add in substitute. So I'm writing plus 4 square and plus 4 square. I have added the half of this. I've done the square of that number. I've added on both sides. This is that simple. Now this one is this is x plus 4 square. You can directly write it x plus 4 square because x plus 4 square is square of first plus 2 multiply first multiply second plus square of second is equal to minus 4 plus 16. So that is 12. So x plus 4 will be plus minus root 12. So the x will be minus 4 plus minus root 12. And, and that is the solution. That's how we use the method of completing the square. Now let's take some example to check what number we are going to add and what we are going to subtract. Suppose my number is x square plus 10x plus what do you think the number should be here? Then x square minus 14x plus this number is always plus, irrespective of whether it is negative or positive. Half of 10, we go here, half of 10 is 5, square of 5 is 25. You can write it 25 or you can write it 5 square, the same way. This is 7 square, half of 14 is 7 and 7 square. So this is equal to x plus 5 square and this is equal to x minus. It is as simple as it is and the this is the left side and the right side you can calculate very easily. Let me take another example. X square plus 9x plus 10. X square plus 9x plus 10 is equal to 0. We are solving it using completing the square method. Here a is already 0. So what I have is x square plus 9x is equal to minus 10. Now what I have to add here? Half of 9 is 9 over 2 and the square of 9 over 2 is, we can simply write it 9 over 2 square plus 9 over 2 square. That's all you have to do. Now the left side will become x plus 9 over 2 square is equal to minus 10 plus 81 over 4. So x plus 9 over 2 square this will be minus 40 plus 81. That is forty one over four. So X will be this is plus minus root forty one over four minus nine over two. And you can solve it like that. Let me take one more example. If a is not equal to 1, suppose our question is that a is not equal to 1. So what we are going to do, let's say our question is that is 2x square minus 8x plus 3 is equal to 0. 
So when we use completing the square, the condition is the coefficient of x square should be 1. So if it is not 1, then we have to divide all numbers by 2. So now this is x square minus 4x plus 3 over 2 is equal to 0. If it is an expression and this 0 is not there, in that case 2 will remain here. If it is not 0, it is expression. But if it is a equation, we need not to write. So this is the one. Now we have x square minus 4x is equal to minus 3 over 2. I have just changed the size of this side of this one. Half of 4, divide the coefficient of x by 2, that is 2 and 2 square and 2 square. Now this is x minus, our this sign depending on the coefficient of x. If it is negative, you write it negative here. If it is positive, there is a positive. This one is always plus. This is x minus 2 square. You can write it 4 here, but then the chances is there when you write it, you may write x minus 4 square. So always write this one is in a square, especially this number. So you have to copy this number and x is equal to 4 minus 3 over 2. That is 8 minus 3, that is 5 over 2. So x minus 2 is equal to plus minus root 5 over 2. So x will be 2 plus minus root 5 over 2. In general form, if the algebraic expression is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0, for the time being just say x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So it will be by completing the square this this is going to be equal to x minus p square plus q square. I am taking the expression not the equation just this. So x square minus bx plus c is equal to x minus p square plus q, not q square. And if the equation is ax square plus bx plus c, the expression is there. So this is equivalent to a x minus p square plus q where a b c p q are all constant now uses uses of completing the square it has two uses first is you can find the vertex or maximum or minimum point for example i give you this is a graph of y is equal to x square and this is a graph of y is equal to x plus 2 square means 1 2 so this is a graph of y is equal to x plus 2 square now the third graph y is equal to 
x plus 2 square plus 3. So 3 means 1, 2, 3. So this is this is a graph of now in this graph what are these coordinates the x coordinate is minus 2 and y coordinate is 3 you can see here So now if if I have a equation say y is equal to x plus 3 square plus 4 so the coordinates of vertex will be minus 3 and 4 it's very simple that is one two three minus three and one two three four So this is the vertex and also you can find the line of symmetry. So x is equal to minus 3 is a line of symmetry. So that is the use of completing the square method. If you want to write the, the vertex, the coordinate of the vertex, then you can, you can always use b over 2a and minus d over 4a that is a the formula for coordinates of vertex it can be proved easily but if you want you can use it direct direct method let's see if it is correct or not it's already here so we need not to prove it if it is a in form of a equation then we can prove now the second use is it can be used to find range Now for a quadratic equation, if the graph is I think my recording stopped, so anyway, it is used to find range. So if a is greater than zero, the graph is like this and this is the range of y so it can be written as this is the value of y so it can be written as minus d over 4a up to infinity and if if a is less than 0 so the range is this this is minus d to 4a up to negative infinity so that is the that's how we find the range you can use the formula directly for example find the range of this question that is x square plus 2x plus 4 find the range of x square plus 2x plus 4 so we solve it by using completing the square so that is it's very easy that is x square plus 2x plus half of this is 1 square is equal to 4 plus 1 square so this is x plus 1 square this is minus 4 minus 4 
plus 1 is minus 3 so this will be plus 3 now this is so the coordinate of vertex is minus 1 and 3 this is 3 so the range of y will be that will be this is the value of d so that is 3 up to infinity that is the range let's check the value of minus b square minus 4ac over 2a so minus b square is 2 square minus 4 a is 1 c is 4 over 2 a is 1 so that is negative this is 4 minus 16 over 2 that is minus 4 minus 16 is 12 minus 12 is plus 12 not 2a this is 4a sorry this is 4a over 4 so you can see that using this minus d over 4a you can straight away find the y coordinate also that's all for completing the square if you have any question please do ask and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you